Listen in on what's being prescribed for the sickest of the sick at Massachusetts General Hospital. What music would you suggest? I think he would be a good candidate and we have good results with Mozart music, slow movement from the piano sonatas. I think that we should try. With his medical degree and two PhDs, including one in stem cell biology, surgeon Claudius Conrad is a committed scientist. He also believes in the power of music to heal. I feel that music needs to be in a category such as medication, you know, their effects, their side effects, and we have a poor understanding of it. Dr. Conrad brings a practiced hand to his research. Before pursuing medicine, he trained as a concert pianist, two disciplines that traditionally have harmonized nicely together. In the Middle Ages, if you wanted to become a doctor, you had to train in music and play an instrument. Today, Conrad says his surgical skills are enhanced by his piano playing. For me, in agility um, is something I think about constantly. And the more I practice the piano, the more receptive I am to the feedback tissue gives you in the operating room and this is a key factor in being a good surgeon. What's more, Conrad rarely enters the operating room without his iPod. His tastes tend toward classical and Baroque, but he gives careful thought to his mix, customizing the playlist to the type of operation he will be performing. For example, burn surgery, where the patient will benefit from being as fast as possible back to the intensive care unit and there I found like trance music, rap music, techno music, perfect because people stay focused, they want to get it done and the patient will benefit from it. But it is Conrad's work in the intensive care unit that has captured the attention of the medical world. He recently published a provocative paper showing that listening to music alters key hormone levels in patients, speeding recovery. Blood pressure, heart rate, and need for pain medication are also reduced. I was surprised on, by how well it actually worked. I think it gives the body the, the stimulus it needs to heal and to support healing. I think, you know, as a measure by itself, it won't be, you know, won't be enough. But as a supportive measure, it, it's very powerful. It begins to. Uh, bring us from, uh, gee, I think that must make a difference to uh, showing how it makes a difference. Andrew Warshaw is Chief of Surgery at Mass General. Safe to say he never imagined Mozart playing much of an active role in the ICU. But Conrad's research is very persuasive. He has spearheaded these, uh, these ways to actually try to find out if the body is responding uh, not just because we say so, or because we think so, or because we want to think so, uh, but whether the body is in fact responding uh, in a way that, that is beneficial. Have you guys had a chance to talk to the family, to you know about his background a little bit, um, music well, he liked? He, he but Mozart might not hit the right note for every patient. The gunshot victim in Bay 2, for example, might need a dose of something a little stronger. I think then he should listen to 50 Cent. And the taste of the patient is clearly more important than the taste of the physician treating the patient. So, yeah, 50 Cent sounds good. Conrad has encountered skeptics and critics, but he has the data to back up his theory, and he has support now from more and more doctors. Unlocking the mysteries of the mind with music when Chronicle returns in just 70 seconds.